Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to do an update. Tractor's got 100 hours now. There's been a few things that have happened. So in the 100 hours since last update, 50 hours, I've done a lot of brush hogging with it. Um, I think last time I reported back, I probably did 10 hours of brush hogging in the 50. This 50 hours, I've probably done 20, 25. So the thing is a beast with the brush hog. Five foot brush hog, runs it great. No issues at all. I've brush hog some pretty thick stuff. Um, some good grass, cuts the good grass good, obviously. If it's grass, it cuts it good. If it's just pure weed, sometimes it'll push it down, you know. You guys have probably brushed hog before, you know what I'm saying. Um, so, been doing a lot of brush hogging with it. No complaints at all. Uh, this kind of goes back to the last video. Every time I brush hog, and I'm like, man, I wish I would have got a DK6010 run that six foot brush hog. But hey, it's only one foot. Does it really make a big difference? Probably does if you're doing it a lot. But for what I'm using for, Five foot does fine. So, been doing a lot of brush hogging, no complaints. I added the 511 grill to save my radiator because now I'm doing some brush work. So, this thing seems pretty good, seems pretty stout. I spaced it off the back bar, top bar a little bit so it doesn't rattle. I don't know if it would have, anyways, because this thing clamps on pretty good and it's really stout. So, and it has the cool 511 designs. I like that. I think that looks cool. So, that thing works good. I've added this Land Pride root rake, and it works really nice. I didn't have high hopes for this. Uh, I'm used to running a skid loader with a grapple, and those things you can just grab, and it's quick. This thing it works pretty well. Um, it's obviously better than having just forks or a bucket. It's not a skid steer, but I think it'll actually surprise you. It does have pretty good clamping force. Um, you can really get... Uh, a big old bite on something and like a bunch of limbs and brush and you know pick it up and throw it the hydraulics are if you have it revved up there um if quick is a 10 and slow is a zero i'd give it i'd give it a six it's not like a skid steer that has a lot of flow and you hit the button or roll the button and it's just boom boom it's not like that but it it works good um if you bought a tractor, you obviously know it's kind of like a multi-purpose thing. It's not good at anything, but it, it's not great at anything, but it's good at a lot of things. So this thing works good. This, I looked at a few brush grapples, and this is the only one that I found in stock. I didn't want to really wait. Um, I wanted it now. Of course, you just want everything now, and you just want to go use it. So you know, there's probably some better options. This thing, um, the two ends, I bent those, but I've really been using this thing kind of hard. Um, all the small little grubby trees, maybe two inches or so, I've just been pushing those things down, ripping the roots out. So it is a little dinged up. Maybe even if you spend a ton of money, you're still going to, if you're using it hard, you're still going to bend up an expensive one. But structurally, it's good. It still goes up and down. Nothing's broke. So just a little bit of bends. One thing I did wish about this grapple, I wish it had grease cirques. It doesn't. It probably just has like plastic bushings that are like self-lubricating. I wish I could put grease in it, but that's okay. The hoses on this thing, they're long enough. They swivel nicely, so that all works good. Overall, the second 100 hours of the tracker have been great. I did the 50-hour service of the oil, oil change, um, filters, hydraulic filters. Um, I check the air filter quite regularly. I haven't changed it. I just bang it out. It's always pretty good shape. I'll probably put a new air filter on it for too long. Um, but other than that, no damage to report, no breaks, but there has been one thing. And you guys want to check on these tractors and probably most new stuff in general. Check all your bolts, your connections, everything, because things do come loose. The people who put these together, maybe they just use like torque screwdrivers or torque, I don't know, whatever they use. But 50 inch pounds or whatever they're tightening these clamps to isn't tight enough. Things expand. They need to be tighter. So let me show you what so I've got. I've got the hood up. The other day I came outside and I saw a little green coolant leak. All of these clamps were all a little bit loose and it was leaking right from there. I'm not sure if a stick or something came up as I was pushing brush and maybe knocked it loose. I don't think they were tight. So I tightened up all these. We're good there. I checked the top ones. Top, top ones were a little bit loose. Tighten those. Um, these fan belts, they are a little bit loose, especially that alternator one. I need to tighten these up. Um, I guess they probably do stretch a little bit out. They're probably just cheap rubber, but it'll squeal for about 
two minutes when you first start it up. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten those up to get rid of that. But that's the only complaints. But just minor things. So I know I did talk about this saw haul before, and you're probably tired of hearing about it. But, I mean, when I find something that works really well, and I feel like it's a game changer, I'm going to talk about it a lot, because it is a good product. So, but everything else on the tractor has been working well. No complaints at all. Need to wash this thing. It's been out in the woods and been getting real dusty. So, you need to either set it out in the rain and let it rain, or power wash it so off. So, Coyote tractor has been good. Talked about the complaints and little things, but I definitely, another 50 hours in, I'd still recommend it good tractor multi-use i love that i can move the log splitter with it easily just move it with a three point i don't have to get out and crank stuff up i can bush hog with it i can mow with it spread gravel use the brush grapple it's just so versatile things are cheap for this as far as attachments um, i feel like it's a good bang for your buck you got a farm or you know you do farm stuff or outdoor stuff good tractor so multifunctional. I'd recommend buying it. So if you watch the first one and you're watching this one and you're not subscribed, obviously you should subscribe because you watch my videos. So thanks for watching. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. I appreciate it because I need the subs. Have a good one, guys.